Greetings from Hong Kong. Welcome to another episode of The Quick Set with me, Clayton Lucas. Week one of the Men's and Women's Volleyball Nations League have wrapped up and there are plenty of things to talk about. But first, let's take a look at the standings. After four matches, Japan are the only undefeated team in the men's competition. And perhaps one of the biggest surprises is that the reigning Volleyball Nations League champions France and the reigning world champions Italy had a tough start and are currently out of the top eight. There's no doubt both teams will bounce back in week two, which takes place in Orleans, France and Rotterdam, Netherlands from June the 20th to the 25th. Now, let's have a look at the women's standings after week one. Poland, China and the USA, well, they're the only undefeated teams, but we may see some changes in week two, which kicks off today in Hong Kong and in Brasilia. Before we talk about week two of the Women's Volleyball Nations League, let's take a little look back at week one of the men's and some of those moments that made us go, whoa! Starting with Cuba upsetting Brazil in a nail-biting five-set match in Ottawa, Canada. Brazil were very determined in the tie-break. They managed to tie the score, but in the end, Jesus Herrera fired an ace to end it all. Speaking of Herrera, the left-handed opposite is the first player to score at least 30 points in the men's 2023 Volleyball Nations League. He had 26 attacks, two blocks and two aces. Now, this one may not be about super spikes or monster blocks, but in fact, it's all about viral videos of Japan and Slovenia showing off their dance moves, which entertain the fans around the world. Those dancing clips were watched more than a million times. We may need some of the teams to step up their game on the dance floor, though, in the coming weeks. One of the players who became a trending topic on social media is Japan's Kento Miyaura. The opposite was one of the game changers in their victory against the reigning VNL champions, France. He scored 13 points after coming on to replace the star opposite, Yuji Nishida, halfway through the match. Time now to talk about women's week two of the Volleyball Nations League, taking place from June the 13th through to the 18th. It's here in Hong Kong and it's also in Brasilia. The USA return undefeated and they brought back some of their key players to the roster. Emily Eman is in Brasilia and she's got all the latest news. Over to you, Emily. Clayton, thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here in Brasilia following Team USA. They currently sit at third in the standings after going 4-0 in Turkey during week one. They brought a different squad this time around, though. Eight players that you saw during week one and six new players making their 2023 VNL debut. So they traded in one powerhouse opposite for the other, bringing in Jordan Thompson this week alongside Danielle Catino. In the middle, you'll see Haley Washington, the Olympic best middle blocker, alongside Asia O'Neill, Brian Butler, and Anna Stevenson this time around. At the outside, they brought in some physicality with Catherine Plummer and Ali Franti alongside Kalia Lanier and Avery Skinner. You'll see the same setters as you saw in week one with Micah Hancock and Ashley Evans. And at the libero position, you will see Morgan Hens alongside Kendall White. Team USA has a good schedule this week. They will face Croatia on Tuesday. They'll see Thailand Thursday, Japan Saturday, and they will finish with Brazil on Sunday. Clayton, thank you so much. That's it from Brasilia. Back to you. Thank you for that, Emily. Unfortunately, we've had some news that Brazil's Ana Cristina has injured a knee during practice yesterday. The diagnosis is pending and we hope it's not serious and that we get to see her shine again in the Volleyball Nations League, just like she did in week one in Nagoya, Japan. Speaking of Brazil, coach Z Roberto Guimarães has updated his roster for the week and it's no surprise that we have Miss Everything Gabby back. And also, she's joined by Rosa Maria, Pri Deutsch, Roberta, and after a five-year absence, Thaisa is back. As for Serbia, the reigning world champions still don't have Tiana Boscovic on the roster. And you've got to wonder just how they're going to do as they've yet to win any matches at the Volleyball Nations League. Surprising as it is, no doubt coach Giovanni Guidetti has got something up his sleeve. Now you can watch all the matches of week two on VBTV. You can get all the latest news, schedules and results on VolleyballWorld.com. And from me, until next time, it's goodbye.